Not very often we get a top five matchup in the early prelims. It's three versus four on deck, and both of these guys have displayed knockout power. It's been a good year for Waylon Frost thus far, thanks to wins over Michael Smith and Jesus Gaspar Diaz. But to close out 2023 in style, he's going to need a winning streak against the big bad wolf, Andrew Provost. This got 10 minutes into our fighter meeting intro. I said, hey, man, is there anything else new you know, going on in life? I, uh, oh, yeah, I got married yesterday here in Vegas, and uh, my wife, Tasha, is pregnant with a baby girl. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure his wife's going to be happy when he hears about that. So he just got married on Tuesday. I said, was it planned? He said, it wasn't for me. It maybe was for her. Of course, she is pregnant. They've got a little baby girl, Tasha. She's on the way. Now, listen, this guy, he does a lot of mixed martial arts. He grew up wrestling. He does a lot of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. His Brazilian jiu-jitsu coach has been training him for this one. You know, he's lost a lot of weight. He's put up four pounds of muscle. And with a new child on the way, he's got a lot to compete for, Alan. I mean, a win tonight would do wonders for him, right? I mean, he just got married as a baby on the way. He could do his honeymoon while he's still here in Vegas and celebrate the victory at the same time. Andrew Provost practices BJJ with his 14-year-old son, TJ. He says it's one of the favorite things he's doing. TJ, no doubt, watching tonight. There he is. He's been here before. Coin toss winner, Waylon Ice Cold Frost from Payson, Arizona, coming in on a two-fight win streak. And a career change. Went from insurance salesman to starting up a plumbing company with his brothers, Payson Premier Plumbing. There's the plug in his hometown of Payson, Arizona. Yeah, and, and he's made an investment right there with the company, doing some work with them. But he talked about making some money doing Power Slap. Look, after his last victory, he's on a two-fight win streak now. He went home, bought himself a side-by-side. -side. We had to clarify what are we talking about a side-by-side? -side? about something that's street legal, something that's off-road. He was excited to show us the picture, but he's making some money. He's spending his money. He's having a great time right now. Asked him, what do you expect? to see us on Wednesday night. He said, watch out for the ice cold show, baby. Yeah, and more importantly, he's coming into this one, having won his last two, of course, last time out. He's used Gaspar Diaz, knocked him out round one. Before that, won a decision over Michael Smith. And whilst the decision isn't as impressive as a knockout, it's all about experience. You know, you're going back and forth, you're taking slaps, you're not fouling, you're keeping your feet planted, you're not pivoting, and you're getting more comfortable with the environment. So there's a lot to be said for going the distance, as long as you still win, of course. That's a great point. His fifth power slap match is on the horizon as we take a look now at the tail of the tape. Provo's 10 years older, four inches shorter. He does have a one inch reach advantage over the younger Raymond Cross. Let's head into our power slap announcer, Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is three rounds in the power slap welterweight division. Introducing to you first, in the blue corner, he stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 168 pounds. Out of Plattsburgh, New York, Andrew Provost. And in the red corner, he stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 164 pounds. Out of Payson, Arizona, he is the number two ranked welterweight contender in the world, Waylon. Ice Cold Frost! And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Waylon Frost. Gentlemen. Extra. Hold that position. Red, you won the coin toss. Which hand and what, uh, what count will you be striking? Right on three. Right on three, okay. Stand by one moment. You're good here. Are you planted where you're at? Stand by. You're good there. You're good here. Look at feet. I believe so. Okay, go ahead and check. Like yep, you fill it out. Look at that. And then let us know. The anticipation you're good right there. Killing this man. You can right tell. on three. Right, right on three. Provo 6'2. Sorry, Provo 5'10. Will and Frost 6'2. Longer look at the, wingspan. Yeah, look at the wingspan White. on Frost. More leverage. Two. Big power. Whoa! Oh! 
Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come to me. Turn around right here. Walk to me right here, please. Walk to me. Easy does it. It's over. It's That's it. Ice cold. Taking care of business. Oh, One job. and hey, done. He did Out everyone a favor. <laughs> Three wins in no, a row God. for Waylon Frost, Bisping. Yeah, I mean, well done. I mean, two knockouts, one decision, one and done. First shot of the night. I mean, commiserations, Andrew Provost. Of course, I'm joking about the marriage. Congratulations, it's been a big week for him. But listen, this is the game we're playing. You know, you stand up there, two guys that train, they come in the best version of themselves. Let, let, let's watch yeah, this. Yeah, the play play the oh, 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 it's a disappointment. He came off the ground. Came off the ground completely. Good point, Alan. Fouls absolutely murder you in this sport. He goes from a first round knockout to a DQ That's loss. That's it, oh that's it, I take you back. Boom, I mean, that's a big shot and that's a big foul. It was a step, it was a pivot, it was a lift. I mean, Waylon Frost was gonna go two wins in a row with knockouts in the first round. You see, he's kind of found his rhythm. He's mastered his slap, but he got a little complacent right there, I right? Mean, I mean, the foot was all the way off the ground. It wasn't even a close call. It's just like it makes martial arts to a certain degree. You've got to control your emotions. A down you know? opponent, somebody's down and you, and you get a little yeah, excited. You know, yeah, you want to hit him as hard as you can. So you forget about the technicalities. So here, here's the thing. He has two losses coming into this on the resume. The first one was a DQ loss to Alex Asbury. He did the same thing. That was his very first fight. Same exact thing. Now, here we are now, a year later, and the same stuff is happening. You gotta clean that stuff. And that was in his power slap debut, right? And you think over time he would have cleaned that up. But I think he just put so much into it that the, the power, the momentum of that slap took him off the ground, but you gotta be, you gotta be aware of it. This is, the, the rule set is such a big part of this, of this game. Well, the rules are in place to make the sport safer. Right? right, so they're still reviewing it, although I don't think there's much to review. No, no offense to Waylon Frost. I mean, look at that. I mean, this is clear as day. He's off the ground, pivoting, stepping, whatever you want to call it. Cheating is an easy way of putting it. Not surprising he put and, uh, Andrew Provost down because when you do that, you can generate so much more power. A ton more. All right, we're still waiting on the, uh, the official word, but uh, <laughs> to your point, I think it is pretty clear and obvious. Yeah, I wonder somewhat what they're looking for because it seems so clear as they watching it. It's obvious. It's a big call though, to be fair. I mean, I guess they gotta watch it a few right, times. Right. All right, let's send but it to Justin Bernard and find out what the deal is. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog calls a stop to the match in round number one, declaring the winner by disqualification due to stepping foul, Andrew Provost!